so we are going to talk about a practical clinical audit that was uh, conducted in the Limo. So this is the outline of my speech. Uh, first of all, I would like to go through true clinical audit pioneers. So as early as 1750 before Christ, King Hammurabi initiated audits for clinicians by instructing them to measure their care against agreed standards. So standards is a key word here. Then, more recently, the detailed uh, statistical work conducted by Florence Nightingale, the lady with a lamp, during the uh, Crinian War, improved uh, sanitary conditions and resulted in decreasing and reducing the mortality rates from 40 to 2%. Fasting forward, in the UK, all dentists working in the NHS are required to carry out a clinical audit. So the aim of a clinical audit is to improve patient treatment by improving professional practice and quality of service delivered. So this is achieved through the continuous process whereby healthcare professionals will review patients' care against agreed standards. Um, and when I say agreed standards, you might adopt the standards from um, a nearby region or um, um, your department or even from uh, a textbook. So the audit is then repeated, double checked, and then you have to implement the changes you have to double check that the changes are implemented, and this is called the audit cycle. So I had the pleasure to uh, conduct, as I said, an audit on the quality of intraoral periapical images obtained in a teaching dental setting in the uh, dental center at the dental faculty of Limo. Uh, as I said, I had the pleasure to join my colleagues, Professor Asunusi Tahar, Asil Shimbish, and Aynur Malki. So, um, the core purpose of quality assurance uh, in dental radiology is consistently ensure the uh, adequate diagnosis information uh, while maintaining and preserving as low as diagnostically acceptable principle. And this will be maintained only if we don't uh, conduct the error in the first place. So the aim of this study was to audit the quality of the intraoral periapical images obtained in our teaching setting. So the standards that we adopted and were agreed upon in our department were the standards adopted from the UK National Radiological Protection Board guidelines in the UK. So as you can see, we have three grades, grade one, excellent, grade two, diagnostically acceptable, grade two, grade three, pardon, unacceptable. So if we see grade one, the excellent, that means it should be more or less an ideal intraoral periapical images. And my initial target will be these images should not be less than 70%. As regarding grade two, diagnostically acceptable, these will be with few or some errors, yet I still can conduct my diagnosis. And these should not be greater than 20%. As regarding grade three, the unacceptable, and as you can see, you cannot um, extract any diagnostic information and uh, you should repeat and so on. You should expose the patient to radiation again and again and that's against the principle and these should not be greater than 10%. So the materials and methods in this study were retrieved retrospectively from the archive of the uh, dental clinic in the dental faculty, as I said, in Nemo, and uh, the uh, ethical approval was permitted by the ethical committee at Nemo as well. 
all of the uh, images were obtained from the same panoramic machine, with the same sensor and the same software, as you can see. So a pilot study for validity was conducted on seven images and it was found to be sound almost. Then 33 intraoral periapical images were revised in two audit cycles of six, with six months interval. Uh, the total number of the sample size was 66. So we have two cycles, the pre-sample cycle one and the post sample cycle two, and we had the radiographer training course in between. So what were we looking for? We were looking for the criteria or the errors in this situation. And these were recorded on a formulated, customized data collection sheet simultaneously while observing the images on a large screen. The criteria were no visibility of the periapical area, no visibility of the crown area, um, elongation or foreshortening. These are mistakes in the vertical angulation, magnification or distortion, horizontal overlap, cone cut and blurred image and over or under exposure. Please make note that these were obtained digitally, so there were no processing errors in this situation. So, the first cycle, the same examiners evaluated the pre-sample after one month to enhance the reliability value of the evaluated method. The same thing can be said about the second cycle and it was conducted on the post-sample. So the repeatability and reliability for test, test reliability and internal consistency, um, a random sample of images was collected that was almost 70, uh, pardon, 15% of the uh, sample size. Moving to the results, both cycles, the total number, as I said, 33, 33, so the total was 66. Uh, the reliability was uh, 0.7 and 0.87 for cycle one and cycle two, respectively. Repeatability was point. 89 for the two cycles. These are our results. As you can see in grade one in the first cycle, uh, the pre-sample, uh, we had nine, almost 9% nine uh, in grade one, and the increase was like um, quite a lot. Grade two was the same, grade three dropped from 45% to 6%. So for the errors detected, we were keen to know what kind of positioning errors that we are encountering. And we, um, as we expected, actually, cone cut um, had the lion's share, about 36, 63%. So the conclusion, although a clear improvement in quality of the images was verified between the two cycles, the standard was not met. So our recommend recommendations is the quality of the intraoral periapical images necessi necessitates, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Necess <laughs> requires, <laughs> requires continuous auditing to reach the gold standard and audit spirals should be planned. When I say an audit spiral, that means we should assess, implement the change, and then re-audit, and then again, further changes, and so on. Conflict of interest were none. I would like to acknowledge my uh, team work in this work, and um, uh, special thanks go to uh, Khuloud al Urfali, my radiographer, in the uh, radiology department. Many thanks to you all for coming and attending today. Thanks. 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 Thanks.